No and the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Pittsburgh's offense, a lot of times they can spread things out and they can really be versatile offensively, but when you've got a wide receiver like this, it really helps the cost. It does, and it, and it continues to help with what they're trying to do. They're trying to find matchups, and when you have one player like this that the defense has got to be aware of, they're going to spread you out, try to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and if you spend too much time with this one player, they've got some other weapons to make you pay for it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Three, maybe four yards on the pass. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. Here's a handoff, and he's brought down right away. They couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage on that one. I just think they did a very good job of selling the pass. The defense was able to read the play and come right in there and make a nice stop. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Brought down at the 26. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. How about the big fellows up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. Tackled after a decent pickup. Pick up a first down there on a four-yard completion. Nothing special here. Quick pass and a good catch, but it keeps the chains moving. Down, around the 37-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. The stop right around the 26 yard line. offensive lineman hopes for an opportunity to impose his will on the defense and he tacks on the extra point so a nine play 73 yard drive and they put up seven points so our score seven nothing Cincinnati to kick and he got all of this one great kick this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Bearcats are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. 
He's into the open field. He gets to about the 34-yard line. That's a team. That brings up second down. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. 51, Mike. Mike, 51. At 2 and 8. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Gain of four yards. First down. Tackle made at the 38. From their own 38 yard line, second down. And down he goes at the 44. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Uh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver. And the result, again, a nice play for the offense. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. Mike 51. Mike 51. He's taken down at the 43. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. He flings it left. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. This unit has quick hands, and they showed it there by knocking away the passes. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. That turned out to be a nice little punt there. It was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. They'll bring him down around the four-yard line. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Hands off to the left, and they wrestle him down behind the line. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. Around the three yard line. They're down a touchdown, so this is an important play. It's third and goal from the three. He's tackled right around the four yard line. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. Pittsburgh is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. He can't dwell on the interception. There's still a whole lot of football to be played today. 
caught, open field, and he's taken down at the 41. Now the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. Cincinnati is up four. He's hit and taken down. scoring defensive battle on our hands. 7-3, Cincinnati. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's got it with room to run. Brought down at the 30 yard line. Wide. Caught with room to work, and he hits him hard at the 17. Cincinnati holds a four-point lead. Seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Makes it to the 34. That brings up second and nine. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Nice run up the middle. That's good enough to pick up the first down. And that shows you why he's such a weapon as a ball carrier. Good gain for the offense. Here's a running play. Gets to about the 41 yard line. From their own 41 yard line. Second down. For the catch. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. Uh, 
After the review, review of the play, the ruling, ruling on the, on the field, field stands. So after some discussion, the call on the field stands. From the 44-yard line, it's first down. He's gobbled out in the backfield. Well, you think about receivers coming over the middle taking shots from the safety, but a runner who's still in the backfield? This guy just flies all over the field. Them hard at the 28 yard line. Number eight on the tackle at the 28 yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Four down, four down. 51, Mike. Mike, 51. Two and eight. Up the middle for a nice game. Game of six yards. That'll make it seven. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Hey, Mike 51, Mike 51. To go. 268. And he's tackled right away. Yeah, Brad, we can kind of get a chess match right now going on between the offense and defensive coordinators out there. And the defense tried to bring pressure to try to surprise the quarterback, but the offense, give them credit. They anticipated that and came up with that big first down. Gets it out to the tight end, and he can't hang on. From the 13-yard line, second down. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Number eight makes the tackle at the eight-yard line. That'll bring up third and six. And this is the twelfth play of the drive. Steps out of bounds, right around the six-yard line. It's fourth down. This one should be makeable. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up, and it's puts the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Cincinnati up by eight. He gets hit out of bounds at the 38 yard line. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. From their own 38-yard line, first down. Now he's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. And they get a nice defensive play. Well, here's a play you don't see very often. That time they brought pressure from the corner position, and the line couldn't pick him up, and he was able to wrap the quarterback up for a sack. That's a good defensive call. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle made around the 43 yard line. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. The Bearcats are going to call their second timeout. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46 yard line. Gets it 
it off as he's hit complete. And down he goes around the 32 yard line. He's scrambling, and he is drilled at the 35. That brings up second and 13. That's a great tackle at the 43-yard line. That'll bring up third and long. Can they get it? He's got a touchdown. That's his second touchdown catch of the game. Well, it's obvious the coach wanted to get him involved in the game plan. It looks like it was a pretty smart move, too. He makes the PAT. right there ready for the kick nice kick plenty of distance this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback and here we go with the offense ready to get things going again it out to about the 27 yard line we're halfway through and it's been a good one the Bearcats in front by 15 hi everybody glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan innovation that excites Bruce Davis David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. No impressive rushing numbers in the first half. Both teams continued to try to establish a run. They were very stubborn about it, though neither one was very successful. But you got the sense at times that it was a little predictable, that maybe the defense knew exactly what was coming every time. The run game is extremely important. It's important because it's body blows to a defense and you loosen them up, I think, later in the game. It opens it up to play action, but that doesn't mean that your script goes first and 10, I have to run the football. Mix it up, keep them off balance, keep the defense guessing. You've seen across college football, the teams with the most balance seems to be the most successful offenses. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're gonna wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready with a call. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They're two for two in finding the end zone on their last two drives. Let's see how they do here. And he's level at the 19. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Ready! Flags! Gets it out. He's met immediately. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Let go! Flag and they got it. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. And that's that three and out. Really Nothing cool. going on that series. Fourth and long here after the sack. Defense, 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 
It's away, and it's a booming punt. Tackle made the 44-yard line. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. Caught out of the open. He's taken down at the 42. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. First and 10. First and ten. Ball on the 42. Mike 51. Mike 51. To go. They bring him down at the 44. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That's good for a game of three yards. That will make it 39. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. And this one is a beauty. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. For Pittsburgh, they've been getting into the backfield quite a bit. Good pass rush by these guys today. They also have that one takeaway. And because of all their problems at the line, this offense is having a difficult time moving the ball. Well, their outfit has been dismal so far, that's for sure. When you have a bunch of negative plays, it drags you down. And for Cincinnati, they've had a dearth of big plays. Not a lot of success for this offense on their last trip out. need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Right, 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 right. 
gains his way to the 29-yard line. He's got it with room to run. Brought down the 26-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. He's at the 20, and he's taken down at the 11-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 11-yard line. He's in for the score, and they're back in it. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. And he converts the extra point. Pittsburgh to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers' defense, I thought they looked lost in the first half, and it seems like they finally found their bearings here in the third quarter. I think they were confused in the first half, and I think they've made the right adjustments. And right now, boy, they're playing with an attitude, and I think they're really attacking this offense much better than the way they look early in this game. Cincinnati is up by eight. <laughs> He's tackled at the 33. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. If they can get some protection, they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Good outside run there. Fights forward to about the 39. Those completely stopped immediately. So at the end of three, the Bearcats lead 21-13. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Cincinnati holds an eight-point advantage. Oh, excellent punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. to 21 and he gets a yard on the run from their own 21 yard line second down Mike 51 Mike 51 
They'll give it off here. Big opening. From their own 30-yard line, first down. And he just gets rid of it. As a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read, get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against him. That's what happened. And he tackles him hard at the 45-yard line. First down. From the 45 yard line, it's first down. Mike 51, Mike 51. They give to the tailback. He makes it out to maybe the 43 yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looks like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. Somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. And they make the stop at about the 33-yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Less than three minutes in the game. And he's hit immediately. Gaining four yards. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 29. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Here's the 12th play of the drive. And down he goes at the 29. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and the ball bounces out of bounds. Second and eight, ball on their own 30. Just under two to go in the game. Pittsburgh's gonna use their first time out of the half here. Got 
hit and still completed it. Tackle made around the 37-yard line. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's tackled at the 22. Pittsburgh staff know that they've got a guy in a crucial situation that can maybe make the difference in the ball game, but you can't just rely on him alone. Yeah, you got a real difference maker lined up on the outside. The defense knows that. You know they're going to tilt their defense, the secondary especially, towards him. It's going to open up some opportunities for other wide receivers and maybe even running backs out of the backfield to be able to make plays. They bring him down. The spike will stop the clock. Third down and a mile. And this is going to be hard to convert here. I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Going deep, lays it up there. You can talk about offense all you want, and they were good today, but the defense was better. They come up with a play of the day, and that'll lead to the victory. teams realize that when the ball is snapped we're one play away from a very different ball game just over a minute in the fourth quarter he tackles him for a loss the thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays but if you keep running it it'll create some big play opportunities from the 15 yard line second down they go with a run and he brought down in the backfield that's a loss of two yards or something. That'll make it third and 13. Hey, watch 11, watch 11. I got him, I got him. Go deep. 20, 19. You know, great effort here by the ball carrier, but I think they need to pass in that situation most of the time. Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. 21-13, Bearcats. As we take a look at the highlights, Kurt, how would you summarize the action in this one? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.